Ever wondered why your laptop sounds like a jet engine when you're just trying to run a PowerPoint? Why your phone handles video calls, games, and a dozen apps without even breaking a sweat? It's all thanks to the epic rivalry between ARM and x86, two processor giants with completely different personalities. So what's really going on under the hood? So guys, hello and welcome back to QuantumFi. In today's video, we're diving in to ARM versus x86, the battle of processors and what it means for you. Let's get started. The Origins, ARM versus x86. To see where these two giants stand today, let's hit the rewind button. Born in 1978, x86 was Intel's answer to the question, what if PCs became a thing? Spoiler alert, they did. Starting as a modest 16-bit architecture, x86 quickly bulked up, evolving into the powerhouse behind today's gaming rigs and data servers. Meanwhile, in the 1980s, ARM emerged from Acorn Computers in the UK with a different game plan, simplicity and efficiency. While x86 was busy flexing, ARM focused on doing fewer things faster and with less power, making it the go-to for mobile devices. Today, ARM reigns supreme in the mobile market, powering billions of devices worldwide. The Architecture Showdown, Risk versus CISC. Time to get a little technical. Don't worry, I'll keep it fun. Think of ARM as the fast food joint of processors. It's all about a streamlined menu. Simple, quick, and efficient. That's why your phone stays cool while running apps all day, sipping power like it's on a diet. Now, x86 is more like dining at a five-star restaurant. The menu is extensive, and while the kitchen can whip up anything from a burger to a gourmet dish, it takes time and energy. This complexity makes x86 perfect for heavy-duty tasks like gaming or video editing, but it's not as power-friendly as ARM. The Power Struggle – Energy Efficiency versus Raw Performance Now let's get to the heart of the matter – performance versus power consumption. When it comes to energy efficiency, ARM is the clear winner. Its RISC architecture is all about minimal power use, which is why your smartphone lasts all day on a single charge. ARM chips are usually part of a system on chip (SOC), where everything – CPU, GPU, memory – works together in perfect harmony, making ARM the go-to for phones, tablets, smartwatches, and even some laptops. Did you know the first ARM processor was originally designed to run on just one watt of power? That's less energy than a single LED Christmas light. But when you need to render a 4K video or crush the latest AAA game, x86 steps into the ring. These processors are like heavyweight boxers, built for endurance and raw power, even if they guzzle energy. Unlike ARM, x86 processors are typically independent operators pairing up with high-end GPUs and tons of RAM to handle the most demanding tasks, making them ideal for gaming PCs, workstations, and servers. Software Compatibility – The Ecosystem Factor Let's talk software compatibility, because even the most powerful processor is useless if it can't run your apps. ARM dominates the mobile scene with seamless compatibility with Android, iOS, Chrome OS, and increasingly, Linux. But ARM isn't just for mobile anymore. It's making moves into laptops and desktops too. Ever heard of Windows on ARM? Yep. Microsoft's on it. However, running x86 software on ARM, that's like fitting a square peg into a round hole. Possible with emulators and virtual machines, but not without performance hits. Meanwhile, x86 has been around forever and works with almost everything – Windows, Mac OS, until Apple's recent ARM shift, Linux, you name it. Its long history means there's a mountain of software and tools tailored for it. Whether it's old school legacy apps or the latest games, x86 runs it all, making it the go-to in enterprise environments where compatibility is king. The Business Angle – Costs and Use Cases Let's talk dollars and cents, because in the business world, the bottom line is king – cost. ARM processors are generally cheaper to produce than x86 processors. 
Their simpler design, lower power consumption, and smaller size all contribute to cost savings, not just upfront, but over the lifetime of the device. This is why ARM is often the go-to for companies producing devices at scale, like smartphones, tablets, and IoT devices. Plus, if you're managing a fleet of devices, ARM's energy efficiency can lead to significant long-term savings on electricity bills. Use Cases ARM's energy efficiency make it ideal for mobile and embedded systems. But it's not just a lightweight contender. ARM is also crashing the server party. Companies like Amazon and Google are flirting with ARM-based servers to cut down those sky-high energy bills. Meanwhile, x86 processors are the heavyweights delivering the muscle needed for gaming, video editing, software development, and those mind-bending simulations. In the enterprise world, where compatibility and performance are sacred, x86 still reigns supreme. Real World Practical Examples Let's bring it all together with some real-world examples. Ever wondered how your phone can stay cool while playing a game? That's ARM at work. The processor's efficiency means it doesn't generate as much heat so your phone doesn't turn into a pocket-sized hand warmer. ARM processors also shine in IoT devices, those tiny smart gadgets like thermostats and fitness trackers that need to run for days, weeks, or even months on a tiny battery. Meanwhile, x86 is what powers your gaming PC or workstation. Need to run Adobe Premiere Pro and render a high-definition video? x86 has got your back. Or maybe you're into gaming and want to experience the latest titles in all their glory. x86 is built for that kind of workload, delivering the performance you need without breaking a sweat, though your cooling system might. The Future – What's Next? So what does the future hold for these two architectures? The future of ARM looks bright, especially as more companies look to cut energy costs and reduce their carbon footprint. We're already seeing ARM processors and laptops, and who knows, maybe ARM will even become the standard in data centers someday. With ongoing improvements in performance and software support, ARM could very well be the architecture of choice for a wider range of devices. Speaking of ARM's latest ventures, there's been a bit of a comeback story. ARM chips are becoming the cool kids on the block again. Just look at Apple's M1 chips or the latest Windows Surface laptops ditching Intel's x86 for ARM like they're trading in a rusty old bike for a shiny new Tesla. But let's save that juicy gossip for another video. But don't count x86 out just yet. While ARM is making inroads, x86 isn't going anywhere. Intel and AMD continue to push the envelope with new chips that offer even more power and efficiency. Plus, with decades of development behind it, x86 has a deeply entrenched ecosystem that's hard to beat. It's likely that we'll continue to see x86 in high-performance environments for many years to come. Conclusion The Verdict now that we've broken down the differences, here's something to ponder. People often get caught up in picking a side, but as J. Cole wisely put it, they act like two legends cannot coexist. ARM and x86 are like Batman and Superman, each with their own superpowers. ARM's the Batman of the tech world, sleek, efficient, and always ready for action, relying on brains over brawn to get the job done. Meanwhile, x86 is more like Superman, all about raw power, effortlessly handling the heaviest tasks, but needing a bit more fuel to keep going. And that's it for today, guys. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like and let us know in the comments what you want to see next. And of course, subscribe to stay quantumfied. More exciting content is on the way, so stay tuned.